Okay, so it's probably not a secret that max HP damage is super effective against single player dungeons like the Path of Growth, uh, the Essence dungeons and stuff like that. However, I always saw some confusion when it comes to raids and how effective uh, max HP scaling from the enemy's HP is because obviously raids have a bunch of HP so technically you should be doing a lot of damage, right? Let's see. Uh, this is my favorite dungeon to test things. So, Metus has 5.5 million HP, which is like 10 times more than most level 15 uh, Path of Road bosses. So, with Lin, for example, and other max HP damage dealers performing super well in there, it would only be right that she would perform instantly well here as well, right? Uh, so we're gonna test out the damage and we're gonna see whether max HP units are actually good in raids and how good exactly they are. So to keep the test fair, I wanted to use a skill that doesn't have any attack multiplier because uh, obviously having an attack multiplier will uh, screw up the results a lot. And luckily I found a unit uh, that is sort of perfect for me. So where are you? This guy, the Fire Elemental, I believe. His second skill has a very high max HP multiplier, probably one of the highest in the game. I know that the Fire Griffon has somewhere around a 52 one. I didn't check the other units, but 45% HP multiplier on two mana. And he also has a passive, which increases crit damage by 40. So this will sort of be a perfect skill to test it. And keep in mind that uh, it doesn't matter the level, the star grade of a unit uh, when using max HP uh, skills because uh, the damage is purely based on the enemy's HP. It doesn't matter what stats you have apart from the damage. Uh, none of them will impact the damage at all. So we're gonna run him up and we're gonna test the damage on this skill. I'm going to be testing under simple conditions, uh, defense break and attack buff. So just one galleon buff. Again, attack buff will not matter in this case as uh, the scaling is on the max HP. It doesn't have any attack scaling. And we'll see the damage it does and then we'll try to compare it with skills with regular multipliers. Uh, of course, with regular multipliers, we'll be testing with 6 star level 70 units because that's what you pretty much use uh, in raids and we'll see how well that compares to some uh, other skills. So yeah, let's run up uh, this guy on my main rage set. So he has 266 crit damage. Uh, that passive uh, will put him out around... Why is this? There we go. So 266, another 40 here. That will be a bit over 300 crit damage. And we're gonna go into a raid and test out uh, how much damage that does. There we go, that's my team, so a Galleon buff and we're gonna be testing the damage that he does. Nothing really special. Okay, so with 5 million HP, uh, the multiplier would be something close to 10,000, or a unit with like, no, not 10,000, like probably 50,000 HP, right? And we used the skill, uh, it did 13,000, 13,000, 13,000, so yeah, the damage is fixed, of course, because it doesn't scale with anything else apart from the boss's HP. And it does 13,300 damage. Now, let's check the damage under the same conditions, but with a unit that has regular scaling. I don't want to find a unit that has uh, a scaling on the lower side. So most single target DPS units will have like 800 plus. Multipliers, I want to find something with like 400, so I'll try to search for that. Okay, I'm gonna go with Celia. Uh, this skill, it hits once and it has around 500% uh, percent multiplier, so we'll see how much damage that skill will do. 500% is a very low multiplier for a single target ability that can be used in raids, so it shouldn't do too much damage compared to especially the damage dealers that scale with debuffs. So yeah, uh, Celia, same rage runes. Uh, she has a lower crit damage, but that's mostly because I believe her, uh, what's it called? Book bonus does not have any crit damage. So yeah, that 
will impact it quite a bit. She's also a support unit, I believe, which means that her basically damage is way lower. And we'll see the damage that she does. So as a reminder, uh, the max HP damage did 13,000. We have that ready and let's shoot one ability. She did 23,000. Well, I'm not, these don't count because she already applied the damage taken up. So 23,000, um, wow. So 45% max HP, which is an extremely high max HP scaling ability. And of course having a passive, which increases the damage as well, did almost around like what 40% less damage than an ability which has 500 attack scaling. So if we look at the more popular damage dealers in raids, for example, the Nadin Ha, which has a multiplier of 1000 plus 120 for every debuff that is applied, or something like uh, what else is used in raids? Um, even Hellier, right? Uh, if we check the third skill, 270 plus she also hits two times with this 270. That's already over 800 uh, multiplier, not even counting the amazing debuffs that she does. So yeah, lots of units will out damage any max HP damage dealer. Yeah, so yeah, you can see that this little cat boy girl, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, 2023, right? I'm not judging. A30 multiplier plus she gets increased damage with harmful effects. So yeah. In conclusion, max HP damage is horrible, horrible in raids. It's pretty much equal to like, uh, what, so 40% less damage than this skill, so 45% max HP damage was something similar to like 300% attack multiplier and basic attacks having uh, 165 to 200 multiplier is pretty much like two basic attacks will be the same as a one of the biggest max HP damage scaling skills. So yeah, um, in conclusion, don't use max HP scaling units in raids. Yeah, and uh, we'll be doing more stuff like this. Uh, I have a few units that scale with max HP actually testing in the next few days because uh, with the hard mode dungeons, of course, since they do well in dungeons and max HP is higher on those high level dungeons, uh, I am curious to see how they uh, perform in there and I'll see you in the next one.